and welcome to the latest in our series looking at the classic constellations. Today we're moving on to Corona Borealis. Now Corona Borealis is a northern constellation, it means the northern crown in Latin. And it's a small but very recognisable constellation with only four stars brighter than a magnitude of three. And it lies between the constellations of Boates and Hercules and it represents the crown of, Ar of Ariadne, the daughter of King Minos in Greek mythology. The Corona Borealis contains a famous blaze star, which is uh, T Corona Borealis, and we'll look at that in a bit, which is a nova. But it has no messier or deep sky objects. Alpheca, or Alpha Corona Borealis, is the brightest of the seven stars that make up Ariadne's crown, and it's an eclipsing binary with a period of 17.36 days. It has an apparent magnitude that varies between 2.21 and 2.32, and it's about 75 light years away. Nusakan, a beta corona borealis, is another binary. It's a variable star with a period of about 18.48 days, and its magnitude varies during that time between 3.65 and 3.72. Gamma corona borealis is a, another close binary uh, star with an orbital period of 91 years, and the star's apparent magnitude varies between 3.8 to 3.86, the period being 0.03 days or 43 minutes and 12 seconds. T Corona Borealis is known as the Blaze Star. It's a recurrent nova. The star has a magnitude of about 10 to 10.8 usually, which is way beyond naked eye visibility, but was seen to reach a magnitude of 2 on May the 12th, 1866, and a magnitude of 3 on February the 9th, 1946. It's a red giant, about 2,000 light years away. So, I hope you enjoyed that look at uh, Corona Borealis. Clear skies, take care, speak to you next time.